Hey, I'm Dave. We're back here in the Matter Hackers lab again to have another look at the TAS 6 and some of its features. The Lulzbot TAS 6 was one of the most anticipated machines coming into the market and is quickly becoming the highest rated amongst the consumers. This is because of the self-leveling, self-cleaning, modular tool head design, and generally the huge build volume that machine has. Let's take a little bit deeper dive into each one of these features. First, we'll want to take a look at auto bed leveling and how that works. So we've heated the extruder to 150 degrees. Now it's going to find the datum of the bed by using this, this bottom limit switch here. So it touches on that twice. And now what it's going to do is going to retract quite a long feed of filament out of the head. The next thing it's going to do is go to the wiper pad, and it'll do two passes at the wiper pad. The first one's pretty fast, the second one's a little bit slower. You can see it kind of drags through that felt, zigzags around at fast speed, then does it a little bit slower. Now, it's going to, now that the head's clean, it's going to go over the first front left piece of steel button there and it's going to find the datum again. First it finds it at, at a fast speed, and then again at a really slow speed here. Now that it found the first corner, it's going to go to the second one. Do the same thing, find it fast, and then finds it again slow. And when we do this again for the third and the fourth corner, we can fast forward through that a little bit. This sequence is initiated each time you start a print. It takes about a minute and a half, so you have to add that to each of your print times. So now it's finished, and in the firmware it's now found what zero is on the bed. So it's in interpolated all those points and found what zero is so that your first layer is really uniform throughout the whole thing. Now that the machine's gone through its self-leveling, uh, we, we printed this Roctopus giant. We scaled it as large as we could on the bed. We let that go for two layers, so what I'll do now is take it off, and see how that self-leveling actually did. I'll measure each of the, each of, each of the uh, tentacles to see their thickness. This one looks like it's about 1.13 millimeters. Another one in another quadrant is 1.1. Another one is 1.12. And then the last quadrant would be 1.19. So it seems like we're within maybe one-tenth of a millimeter for the auto bed leveling. Which is really good. That, that, that ensured that we had a really good nice layer and that works pretty well. So after the auto bed leveling we stopped this after two layers. Took the measurements, they look really good. We actually let that print go. It was a 14 hour Roctopus. We scaled it as, as large as we could to the bed. It finished. Um, it looks like that auto bed leveling made all these tentacles lay down for the bed uh, really nicely. It lasted the entire time. We took a uh, time lapse of that so we'll show that at the end. First I want to go into the next feature um, that's talked about about this machine. The modular tool head. What does that mean? So this is the tool head, the extruder combined with the hot end that comes with the TAS 6. Modularity means you can easily swap this out. This tool head that comes with it really good for printing PLA, ABS, nylons, all your basic materials. Um, let's say you wanted to print some flexible materials. The Flexi extruder is great for printing flexible filaments. Everything in the extruder hot end combination is optimized for flexible filaments. If you want to go to the next level, you can get dual extrusion, modular also for this printer. Dual extrusion comes in two versions, so we sell the dual extrusion standard extruder as well as the dual extrusion flexi dually. And again, all these super modular, what that means is this is your stock tool head that comes with it. With an easy single removal of this screw, unplug the electronics. Now we have the stock hot end off and we can easily mount this straight to where it came from and with a single screw we are up and running with flexible filaments now. So that's some of the features that we looked into. Go ahead and order the Lulzbot TAS 6 on MatterHackers.com right now resulting in really big prints, really precise prints Feel free to add any of the upgrades if you're looking to do flexible filaments or dual extrusion, even dual extrusion flexible filaments. It's available now, and now we'll cut to the awesome time lapse of the 14-hour Roctopus print. <laughs>